Hey what's going on guys, it is Jaco and welcome back to some more GTA 6 Concepts. And today's topic is going to be abilities or ability cards possibly returning in GTA 6 or GTA 6 Online from Red Dead 2. Of course if you guys would like to check out any of the previous or future episodes of GTA 6 Concepts where we discuss some things we'd love to see in GTA 6, I'll leave the full playlist down below in the description as well as let me know some other concepts and topics you guys would like to talk about in the comments down below. It was something that was overlooked by most of the casual players in Red Dead Online, but it was actually crucial to, I would think, online in general. These cards work pretty much as the follow. You would either have a passive perk or a perk that you would have to actually earn through a kill, a headshot, maybe uh, running around unarmed with no weapons, but they would give you some sort of bonus. For example, if you were unarmed, you would take less damage from bullets. And there's also some kill skills, I like to call them, where if you got a kill, you'd regen some health. Now, this worked really, really well instead of constantly needing to eat or constantly needing to take medicine in the middle of combat, stopping your gameplay and opening up your weapon wheel and then going through the animation of drinking it. It got really annoying in Red Dead 2 and in GTA Online before the summer, actually. The only way you could regen health in combat was to either stay still in cover or to go into your inventory, find your snacks, and then spam A or X on it until your health bar was full just to have to do it again 30 seconds later because some NPC aimbotted you around a corner, blind firing or something. Having these in Red Dead Online was super, super cool, and like I said, it was, in my opinion, crucial to the actual game mode of online and just the gameplay in general. And a lot of these could return to GTA 6, getting a kill, regen some health, or, you know, maybe while you're unarmed, using a melee weapon and sprinting, you have a bunch more damage resistance. That would be really nice. Maybe even up your movement speed while you're unarmed, or up your movement speed while you're using pistols. Maybe there there could be so many options for these abilities or ability cards that we could make tons and tons of videos of that on its own, but I'm not here to talk about what the actual ability cards were, just kind of how they worked. So in total, in Red Dead Online, you could have four ability cards active at once. One was for your Deadeye, it was your Deadeye ability. And then the other three passive ones, for example, the ones that would regen your health, regen your dead eye, give you more damage resistance, etc., etc. But while you were low enough of a level, you didn't actually have all three cards, your passive perks, available at once, and all the cards would actually have to start at level one and rank up to level three. And the way you level these up, of course, was to put them on and then gain XP to be able to hit level two or three. And then to hit that level two or that level three, you would actually have to spend money to upgrade the card itself. But the benefits were so worth it because they would greatly increase them by a ton. I think something like this could easily be implemented in GTA Online or GTA 6 Online, as long as they couldn't be abused in a PVP mode or something like that. And was specifically maybe even only beneficial to PVE in general while you're on a mission killing bots you were able to get the full benefit of all these abilities or ability cards and then maybe in pvp they're completely deactivated didn't work or worked at a much much lower scale i honestly didn't play much pvp in red dead 2 so if any of you guys did let me know how ability cards worked in pvp but i could definitely see some of those things getting pretty annoying or pretty op especially if you were a lower level facing a bunch of higher level enemies or people but then again that's how it's supposed to work the higher you are the more experienced you are you should be better but some of the things could definitely i could see get really really op and really annoying in pvp Unfortunately, in Red Dead Online, a lot of the passive ability cards were kind of, actually, I would say really, really useless. There were some niche ones, and then there was the three or four out of like the 30 cards that were actually usable that you never really wanted to take off. Of course, like the health regen one, and then something like being unarmed or having a melee weapon and taking a lot more damage resistance while sprinting from bullets. That was more niche, because, I mean, why would you run around with an axe like a little lunatic when you could just sit back and shoot people like that that's definitely how it would probably work in gta online especially with automatic weapons be the thing in the 21st century in modern day gta online games where they're where they take place so let me know some of your guys's ability card ideas they don't have to be called ability cards but let me know some of your ideas a few ideas i have of ability card options in gta 6 could be the following increased damage to weapons while you're inside of a vehicle doing a drive-by better health regeneration while you have nearby crew members or heist members around you. 
These are only a couple of the ideas I have, but let me know yours down below in the comments. And let me remind you, GTA is not some full-fledged RPG game like Destiny or something like that. This is still Grand Theft Auto. It's more re reality-based, even though you can pull RPGs out of your back pocket. We got to stay in the mindset of it's mostly based in reality and that we can't go too crazy here. But I definitely think Red Dead Online's ability card system worked perfectly. And uh, the only thing I would want from the ability system in Red Dead Online was more abilities, more cards that were actually useful. So thanks again, guys, for watching. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.